Thanks for joining us. It was a stunning scene in February of 2022. Butch's Bar in Sturgeon Bay engulfed in flames. Today, the man convicted of starting that fire that killed two people learns his punishment in Door County Court. In a first alert update, Brittany Schmidt shows us the sentencing hearing of Anthony Gonzalez. Six-year-old Anthony Gonzalez walked into a Door County courtroom facing the possibility of 70 years behind bars. In January, a jury convicted him of setting this deadly fire at Butch's Bar in downtown Surgeon Bay that led to the deaths of 67-year-old Gary Heisey and 54-year-old Victor Juris. His siblings addressed the court Friday. To hear from others that Vic's last words were, I can't get out, is something that will haunt me for the rest of my life. The hardest thing I have ever done in my life, and I served 14 years in the military through two wars, hardest thing I ever could do was tell our mom that her son was dead. I don't wish that upon anybody. During sentencing, the state recapped the trial and accused Gonzalez of being selfish and having no remorse. Gonzalez addressed the judge himself, saying otherwise. But I, I do have remorse. I mean, I ran out of my room and I did everything correctly. I tried to save as many lives as I could that day. I pounded on everyone's door. I told them that there was a fire. I made sure someone called 911. I went down and even let Clarence know that there was a fire upstairs. I mean, there's no winners here. The judge weighing all statements, including the defendants. You blame everybody else. The judge goes on to say Gonzalez tried to place blame on Surgeon Bay officials, his landlord, the jury, his defense attorneys, and the prosecution. You blame Ms. Nardine for this and indicate this case should have never been charged. Uh, and in Milwaukee, uh, and I find this statement to be very troubling, that you would have been a hero. Uh, you're no hero, uh, Mr. Gonzalez, but you believe you were a hero uh, for your efforts to fight the fire and warning and trying to get people out. The judge sentenced Gonzalez to 15 years in prison, followed by 15 years of supervision. I praise God. I got something else I'd like to say. No, no, we're done, sir. We're done. You will be appealing I'm Brittany Schmidt for Action 2 News.